Okay, I've already set up uh, in under signal masts. Okay, if we go to that page, I've already set up uh, four different masts because I've made a I've made a bit of a diagram of the various masts and the uh, for each aspect on the mast, um, I'm going to set up a turnout command for that. So I'm going to use 62 thrown, 62 closed, uh, and 63 thrown for the three aspects for uh, signal mast uh, WB41A, which stands for westbound, uh, the block 410, so I call it 41, and an A, so at each end of the block I might have an A or a B, uh, so I just put a letter after that particular um, address so I know that the uh, that particular mast is is around this block area so I've done that for I'm gonna set up uh, four different masts. well we're gonna do two here that are actually working um, but you may also need to put some uh, virtual masts on your layout in order to get the signals to throw properly so let's look at uh, how we do that So to add a mast, we simply go to the signal mast table and we can do add. And so the one that I haven't added yet that I want to add, let's say I have uh, 40, 41, 42, 36 and 37. I need to add 36. Okay, so I'm going to be WB36A. And I'm using basic model math, basic model signals, but you can add if you have a particular convention of um, uh, signals that you want to use. Um, there's a lot entered in. JMRI for prototypical signals and um, you can choose one of those but I just use basic model signals um, I'm using a single uh, single head single searchlight high signal and you could either set it up a virtual mast which means it'll appear on your panel only and not look for the uh, signal man but we're gonna do turnout controlled mast Okay, because we're going to be sending turnout controls to the signal man. And when you choose that, all of a sudden this menu appears. And we're going to create new commands for each aspect on that head. Okay, we're going to be transmitting them over the loco net. We're going to create a new address. And for the stop aspect, uh, for head 36A, I'm going to use a, a address of 56 and I'm going to set it to thrown. Okay, so 56 thrown is going to be our stop aspect for that head. Now we go down to the approach and create new local net and that's going to be 56 closed. And it's already set at closed. And then for our clear local net, and I'm going to do 57 thrown. Okay, you can disable per particular aspects if you don't want to use them. But we have three aspects that we're going to use. Clear, approach, and stop. And all we do is say OK. And it's added, it's added that signal to our table. So that was westbound 37A that we just added. Uh, oh, sorry, that was 36A that we added. So now we have these uh, five different signals on our uh, table that we can now put on our panel. Okay, now to, to we've set up the various blocks on our panel. Uh, we have two turnouts and these turnouts are controlled by the sensors that we set up 
earlier. So if we go to our sensor table, it's back to our tables now. Okay, and if I look at sensors, okay, these are all the various sensors that we set up for the various blocks and turnouts. If I go down to turnout, I can change it to active, and you can see it throws the turnout. So that's like if, if the uh, command comes back from our AI, AIU01, that that um, uh, turnout is, is now active, then that throws the turnout on the panel. Okay, so we come back to our panel. Now, one thing we didn't, I didn't mention, uh, when we were setting up our layout, um, we can set up the various uh, blocks on each of our turnouts by editing the turnout. Okay, I right clicked on the turnout, hit edit. So you can set up the various blocks. This is turnout 401, you can set out the blocks. Let's, uh, and these go in order. So this is block one, two, three, and four. This, these um, refer to each corner of your turnout. And the colored one, you'll always have a, a, a kind of a different color, either a blue, or in this color, is, uh, this turnout is purple. So that's your one, uh, that's two, three, and four. So each corner can have a different uh, block. So in my case, uh, this one is block 420. So I'll enter that in. 420. Uh, this one is block 430. Now I'm putting in the sensor name of the various blocks, the official name. As you can see up here, it corresponds to these blocks here. Uh, block 3 is 380, connects up with that corner. And the last corner is block 370. Okay, and we hit done. Okay. Now we can assign uh, signals to this turnout as well. And this, the signals will always be going into the turnout. We cannot assign, JMR, JMRI doesn't let you assign signals going out of a particular turnout. Okay, there it goes blue. That's the problem. It wasn't connected in the panel. Now it's coming up. Okay. See, it's gone blue. So it wasn't, it was close, but it wasn't truly connected. Now, so for um, 420 to 430, I want. Uh, 42A, the signal, this one, mast. And I want it on the left hand side since we're going westbound. And boom, okay. So right now it's green. And we're gonna put uh, two more masks over here. You can put a, uh, put a mask at a junction point between two blocks or at the corner of turnouts. So set signal mass and we're going uh, eastbound okay we're looking to the right is eastbound um, you can see east or southbound west or northbound um, one note you want your panel basically running right to left or up and down um, it helps JMRI recognize the various uh, turnouts and blocks um, if they're in that configuration now on corners and within a block and so forth you can you can change but um, it doesn't really like um, figuring out the, the um, path if it's on an angle. So we are going uh, eastbound and we want mast. Uh, that's going to be 41. 
A and I'll place it on the left hand side done okay and on this junction here we're going to set a mast and that one is going to be 36A eastbound on the right hand side okay you can change the aspects just by okay now that I have a fresh memory card let's look at setting up some virtual mass down uh, line so that these two signal heads or mass understand what's going on down the line so at this point here we go to our let's go to our sensor table first I believe I lost my sensor table or I closed it tools table sensors okay we're gonna set up a new signal mast come on there we go signal mass add uh, this one's going to be 38 a 38 a and this time it's going to be a virtual mast because it's going to be on the layout only on our layout editor so it just tells you whether or not you want those aspects functioning it's a virtual mast and okay it's set up so it's been added here 38A okay so we go back to our panel editor And that one's going to be block 390. Now we can set up signal mass. See, we had to set up the four blocks first, so we get the signal masts. And we see this table here. So we set up the two virtual signals for uh, 450. To 460, we want the 45A on the left hand side, and down here for 380 to 390, we want 38A on the right hand side. Done. Okay, and those two signals appear there. That goes active. Oh, okay, we haven't set up the logic yet for our signals okay and that's the next step how they are on our panel um, this is the beauty of GMRI is that it'll figure out the logic for our signals okay so we click on a right click on this signal mast and there is a drop down menu here for signal mast logic okay it brings up this table now if we go add signal logic we look at the next one down the line and we look at the same side okay so the next signal down the line is this signal head here which is 45A so a destination mast is your next one down the line and that's 45A now click these whoops they have block running is not enabled do you want to enable it yes Okay, it has been enabled. Okay. So we're going to do click that, click that one, and click that one. So it's going to look for the turnouts and the blocks down the line. So that's very key. Click these three boxes at the top. Update logic. Right click. Okay, so that's updated now. And now we go back to this pane. Okay, or this window and we hit discover and generation of signal pairs completed so it's just discovered the signals down the line from that uh, from the particular signal that we're working on 42A 
Okay, and that's it. And let's do that for this one as well. Signal mask logic. Go to add signal logic. The next one down the line of that is 38A. So we go to 38A, click, 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 update signal logic. Back to this table, hit discover, and it finds the next one down the line. Okay. Now, see, it didn't discover this one because there's no crossover going that way, but if we look at this one, this signal, it discovered both. And we'll do the same with this signal. Signal mass logic, add logic. The next one down the line is 37A. Click those top three, update, close, discover. And it's paired to the next one down the line. Done. And let's lastly, let's do it for this one. Signal mass logic, add the logic. Next one down the line is 420. Oh, sorry, it's 42A. And we click the top three. Update. And now discover. Let's discover the next one down the line. And it's enabled. Okay, now if we go click on some of these sensors, block 380 goes active. Now all this logic, it just changed all these signals because this, this uh, switch is thrown against it, so that goes red. This block is now occupied, so this signal goes red. And this one is facing a red. So it goes um, yellow, approach. And this one's in approach because it's facing a red as well. If this turnout changes, watch what happens. So we're going to throw sensor 401. Uh, 401. That gets thrown. These ones go green now because now there is nothing occupying this uh, path.